could you ever conceive of a circumstance in which the police would do a reunion tour? Um, I think that would be good cause to have me uh, certified insane. question we've really been dealing with for many years now. The police has always been my favorite music experience. It's a no-brainer for me. The part that I have no comprehension of is what made Sting decide that this is the hour, this is the day, this is the moment. I'm always of the belief that surprise is everything in this business. What would really surprise people, would even surprise me, is if I reformed the police. And so it was. Even right now, I still feel slightly unreal. I didn't believe it until Sting emails the set list. I'm looking at all these songs. That is the moment when I started running around my studio hollering. What is important is that we always were a bit of unfinished business. Okay. Alrighty, Pop. Should we just do that again, just for the hell of it, or move on? Yeah, we should do it. We can do it. I think we figured a few things out in message. I don't, I don't remember what they are. What was good about the Crash Bash was that we got a good dynamic downshift for the first verse yeah so the intro being loud was kind of good i mean but it's, if it's just loud for the your drum solo yeah then we the riff was is yeah little, absolutely is little. let's try that i meant really i meant small right there go really small there there yeah let's try it it started out miserable which took us all by surprise. We were all, I think, expecting it to be a lot easier than it was. So at the end of the chorus, what I'm hoping to hear is the bass drum on two, and that's the main thing. So... Bow, bow. This is the coda? Yeah. Okay, so you don't want it to continue anymore. Well... Now you want something different. You know, it's hard to, without writing it all down, I don't know. All I want is the bass drum. That's what I want to hear on two. So I have to sort of limit my, you know, band leader kind of mentality for a start. I'm now in a band where I can't fire anybody. <laughs> I can't fire anybody, you know. So I better um, negotiate. <laughs> I'd better argue my case. I'd have to, you know, present things and you know, be diplomatic for a change. I mean, you have to ask the other two how they, how they feel about it. What's your feeling about your co co-workers and your bandmates? Right I now? hate them both, you know. Yeah. So that's it. Next Good. question. Okay. Um, it's become such a, almost a cliche about, you know, our relationship. Oh, we, these guys hate each other. I hope they're not going to stab each other in the throat tonight, you know. It's a half-truth. <laughs> That's gonna be fucking cover of Modern Drummer magazine is gonna be fucking devoted to that drum fill, well, you cunt. It's amazing that you could play That's that drum good. fill in nine beats. Right? Huh? Yeah. It's yeah. fantastic. Just because <laughs> you get lost, just because it's a little confusing for the fucking bass playing element. Okay. It's going so well too. It was amazing when we got back here in this room, how you know, where's that jugular? <laughs> Can I tell you something, Andrew? I love you. I love you too, Stain. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, ah, you know, if you, if you want, if you sing unison with somebody, the best way of getting to, in unison is to watch their mouth. All oh, right, I'm not looking at you. That I know you're not. Uh, when we're on stage, you're going to see that. But as we're together like this, it's a, it's a good opportunity to actually start singing together. Oh, singing in tune. Yeah. You were singing in tune, but you weren't singing with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're making that effort to communicate in a way that will hold us together so we can get through these very rough time of refashioning our musical bond. See, if we can get through this, it's much better than paying a shrink, you know, $400 an hour in New York. Okay. That was the end. That was the end. Okay. Time for Tonto's expanding headband. Yeah, for some Why? of us, the 60s never left. Why are you wearing that? Here, sir. Sweatmate. <laughs> <laughs>
Because somebody, look at you cool as a cucumber on your stool. There's somebody's working here. I'm sweating. Okay. I'm thinking about wearing that on stage. <laughs> uh, not for the Grammys, but for two hours of um, this shit. I, yeah. I think we need to um, have a discussion about a discussion. About it. <laughs> <laughs> it will be discussed. <laughs> This is kind of surreal. You with that shit on your head, You'd have casting to, you know, aspersions on my it's headband. It's all fine, but you will have to have a discussion what, with what our. You <laughs> you'll have to have a discussion with our personal fashion designer. Now, since you mention it, he fucking loves the headband. What about what about a tennis oh. racket with that? <laughs> but why don't we just play tennis? Jeff, why don't we have to get up here with these fucking things? For we could be out there. Come after you oh, with a on the court. Racket. It's a marriage, and you know, it's like any marriage. You know, you work at it, and. Uh, We've had a history of working at it. There's a little moment where it goes dun 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 dun. I'd love to. It's very subtle. Doesn't rob the integrity of the song. And I have no fucking idea where it is or what it is. But it might reveal itself if we play. It. Every move that you make, and every vow you break, every smile you fake, every claim you stage, I'll be watching you. Okay, right there is where you're talking about. Yes. All right. I'll give you that if you take the flams out. Take the flams out. Blah, blah. Just a... Yeah. It's a deal. It's a deal. We're so much more civilized than we used to be. So we need to announce the tour dates, and uh, the usual way to do that is to have a press conference. Is there anything we can come up with that is a little sexier than just a press conference? Well, there was some debate about whether we should do that. I was for it because I thought we uh, just have to show our colors here. Lesson for all the UK bands, keep on practicing. It might, it might work out. You know, the Whiskey Go Go is sort of significant because that's where we started. I think it was our second tour of America. It felt like we made it all the way from the underground of London to the Whiskey Go Go in Los Angeles. It felt like, yes. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It was pretty intense. The whole the, the world's media was there. There were queues outside and helicopters flying up above us. And uh, there we were, the police. Is that tempo okay for you? Uh, it's too fast. I'll stop you. Here we go. I hadn't played a little club in a long time, and I was just wasn't used to the sound. I mean, you know, I'm used to. Be, Big places where the sound is enormous. This is the playing in a shoebox. too early and left all this and I suppose there's a tendon pain with that and I think there's a certain kind of a, a healing of scar tissue somewhat coming back together with this. Corey Moss with MTV News. I want to know the uh, scope of the reunion. Is it um, just this tour? Will there be new music, an album possibly? World domination totally, I would say. <laughs> We're going to come out, burn down the world. We're going to enslave your children, mm -hmm. eat your kings and queens, rape and pillage across the world. Nothing's changed. <laughs> 
Yeah. Sting, you mentioned being a little uh, older and with that wiser. Do you feel like now, you know, with the time apart, you guys have more of an appreciation for playing together this time? Th there's no reason why we shouldn't be uh, 25 years better than we were then. And we were good then. <laughs> yeah! Just really the last question. Um, this is Taylor Hawkins from the Topanga Canyon Tribune. Yeah. Nice. That's great. Nice. So you got three months till the tour starts, right? Yeah. yeah. You think that we have time for the mullets to return? The mullets? We never wore mullets. Yeah. Two fighters wear mullets. That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, you're wearing a mullet now. Somebody asked a serious question. Uh, so. Anyway, I just want to know: Are you guys strictly going to? Keep it uh, to the police songs, or are you gonna? Most of we gonna do you too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> well, gee, I thought we could do my Sharona. <laughs> but no, we're, we're keeping it to the police material. Seriously. Not, uh... <laughs>